Hi, this is Mark Morell from Let's Voltron, the official Voltron podcast, and we're here at WonderCon. We're talking about Voltron Legendary Defender, and I'm here with Jeremy Shada, who plays Lance. Yes, sir. I play Lance, the pilot of the Blue Lion. Likes the girls. Lance is a ladies' man. He definitely likes girls. Pretty much anyone who is of the female gender doesn't have to be human. They could be alien. If they're on, you know, walking on two legs, he pretty much will, you know, hit on them and try and flirt with them. So, <laughs> what's what's the actual age of the characters in the in the Voltron team? So the the team of Voltron, they're all uh, they're all teenagers uh, for the most part. Um, some of them are slightly older. Some of them are slightly younger. But I think uh, I think for the most part, Lance is supposed to be when we start like sixteen. Uh, and most of them are kind of in and around that age, so they're they're definitely teenagers. They're definitely, you know, they go through some of that type of stuff. They have uh, they have their funny moments, and they uh, they <laughs> they have their conflicting personalities. And uh, and them coming together in the very beginning is, is really a lot of fun. There's a lot of kind of conflict. Them just kind of joking with each other, and messing with each other, and, and seeing kind of how they all fit together as a team. Okay. Yeah. I I have some questions from some of the listeners of the podcast. Okay. They probably know a lot more about Voltron than I do, so we'll see what right. we'll see what happens. Terrence thirty one asks, "Will there be a corrupt Galaxy Alliance officer in the show?" Hmm. Has there been a villain that's been identified that is different than like Zarkon or Hagar? Yes, there will there will be there will definitely be other other villains throughout the course of the show. Lots of other. Uh, some of them are, come in for like an episode. Some of them have uh, longer arcs as well. Okay. But uh, but Zarkon will not be the only villain. He's definitely the big villain. But there will okay. definitely be other villains. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lorraine Kiamko from the Philippines asks, "What did you keep in mind to keep the fan base happy for this for this series?" Well, I think whenever you come into a you know a project that is a, a very well known property, obviously Voltron is very well known, very beloved. There's always a lot of pressure to make sure that you're doing it justice and doing it right. Um, but it's also very exciting, and ultimately, when it comes down to just you just focusing on it, you know, really getting the character right, uh, and really just trying to you know make the character lovable, relatable, and real. Uh, and I think the biggest part is also like in this show. As opposed to the original, we have a lot more humor and comedy, yeah. which is a lot of fun for me. Oh, thanks, Tyler. Yeah, good stuff, buddy. Uh -huh. Love you, too. Um, and so it really lends itself to really having a lot of heartwarming moments with the characters. Uh, and you, you really do get to see a lot more relatability with all the characters because of, the, because of that humor. Even though there's a lot of very dramatic moments and all this action and stuff, yeah. they will like crack jokes occasionally. And, and you find a lot of humor in all these funny moments and then trying to adjust to being taken from Earth to thrown into this kind of space opera and this crazy robot that's also a cat, you know. Uh, and so there's a lot of stuff that comes with that. And I think ultimately it's just trying to, in and, you know, week in and week out, make a really great show, period. Okay. What differentiates, oh, this is my, uh, this is a question from my co-host, Greg Tyler, who couldn't be here. No worries. What differentiates this Voltron from other Super Sentai like Power Rangers? Mm -hmm. uh, I think this Voltron... There's a lot of things actually that I think would differentiate it. I mean, the writing team and everybody that the, the the overall stories are, are very 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 deep. They're very very uh, personal. There's a lot of uh, a lot of great kind of drama and actual real stakes and everything, mm -hmm. uh, and you really feel that going throughout it. And then just with uh, with other shows, like it's really hard, especially in an animation form, to strike a great balance between real drama that you actually really care for these characters. Uh, and then also couple that with having those moments of comedy where it really lightens it out in the action. Um, I think Voltron is great in the sense that it definitely appeals to a very broad audience. It, uh, you know, as we're recording it and watching back all the new stuff and you actually see the animation, it's just so exciting. Mm -hmm. um, the coolest thing is like you're, you wouldn't say, oh, this is a kid's show. Like you really go, this is just a great show, period, right. that people of all ages can watch. And there's definitely the nostalgia from the, the fan base that saw the originals that will love it. Right. Uh, there's so much in there that the new generation will just love it, even without if you've never seen any form of Voltron, you'll just kind of right. it. So I think that's really what sets it apart. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on Let's Voltron, the official Voltron podcast. Thank you for having me. Thanks a lot. See ya.